Good day to everyone. Uh, my name is Bala, and uh, I'm doing this uh, presentation on the Jackfruit Village, a simple social impact uh, program project uh, done in Johor Bahru. I'm a Singaporean, and I uh, would like to show you uh, how we are presenting this, working with the poor families, or they call it B40, below the 40% of income in Malaysia. These are the groups who need help today. So uh, allow me to show you a presentation uh, just to elaborate how and what we are doing in Johor Bahru. Here, uh, this project is known as the Social Social Impact Project for the NGOs and corporate to work together. Uh, this presentation done by myself, uh, Bala Tam. Uh, I work currently with the 225 Private Limited Singapore in Singapore. Now, this project has many folds. And before I go to that, uh, let me, I'm from the Air Force, ex Air Force uh, senior aircraft technician, uh, worked in the RCF for 13 years. Uh, I left um, the industry and became a sustainable farmer for the last uh, 16 over years. Uh, my experience uh, include even uh, to go upscale. I have completed my circular economy, sustainable strategies uh, studies in the University of Cambridge. I've also done my post harvesting technology in Alamale, mushroom farming, and also a food safety management systems and audit training. Now, the last 15 years, uh, I'm involved in farms directly with the farmers at many locations, especially in Malaysia and Indonesia. These are my experience uh, to be classified as mushroom grower, coconut oil processing, making enzymes, and have traveled widely uh, in Indonesia. A total of 16 farms have benefited and uh, they are sustainable, they are running on their own. And some other things we do together with uh, the farmers and the corporate uh, in Singapore, people like Recall. We have uh, embarked on CSR programs in Batam and Medan. I also work with refugees in Medan. There are currently 200 refugees uh, stuck in Medan. They are from uh, Sri Lanka. Now, today, what we are talking about is embarking on the Iskandar Social Impact Quality Living uh, Project, which has uh, almost uh, 100 hectare of land allocated uh, for us to showcase. And that can be ex further extended to 500 hectare in future. Uh, the project was also endorsed by the Prime Minister, uh, calling it as the sixth uh, major project to be developed in uh, Iskandar region. Uh, this is done uh, towards helping the economy, both for the country, for the region, and also farming, teaching farmers how to grow uh, and earn an income of 3,000 ringgit, which is the basic need for a Malaysian B40 families. They can very uh, well live with a, just a $3,000 in Johor Bahru. Now, today we are looking at how we would like to implement uh, such technologies in the, across Singapore. But at the same time, there is land available in Malaysia. So we could uh, put in both technology and use of land in JB. And we need to empower the B40s. Now, for that reason, uh, we have actually moved forward thinking like sustainable farming village in Johor Bahru with locals. The social impact are the main uh, reasons uh, which we want to solve. Uh, these are the eight social impact things uh, we like to cover. And how the village sustained by itself. A sustainable village must have all these elements, about 11 elements we call it. Uh, a village will sustain it by itself uh, if you have all these inputs. 
right from waste management, rainwater harvesting, energy resource management, agriculture foundations, technology. Now, what we are bringing to them is from my side and our approach is building a partnership approach, partners uh, on uh, infrastructure, smart village, IoT, renewable energy, a circular economy, and a cottage industry. What I'm going to transfer to them is that the knowledge is sustainable agriculture techniques, waste management techniques, water management, energy management, resource management, technology and application, and the know-how. So for that reason, to make it uh, some point uh, clearer, that there are two ways of doing this as a social impact. So we are inviting social impact investors or to come in to, to help us to grow the village. At the same time, the farmers are going to benefit by the buyback of contract farmers. So all of them will be known as the contract farmers. And contract farmers means that they grow the vegetable and they are assured that we will buy back from them. So in option A, we are looking for investors who are coming in as social impact investors who just want to do pure CSR. A CSR of $30,000, which will help a farmer or family to live a life. And, and this amount is enough to look after them. The second part of the option B is that some of them are interested in investing. So we call it a social investment. Under a social investment, that uh, a, a period of two years, I, I could able to make the family uh, grow their own crop and they could return back this money after two years. Now, how the money has been divided, just for to uh, explain about the, the division. I mean, Singapore $30,000 will equal to be 90,000 ringgit. And we are growing cash crop, jackfruit, and a place to stay, utility farmhouse, and care farm trading program. The jackfruit village basically is uh, currently located or has been allocated a place at Selina. And it is about 45 minutes to one hour from town. And this is after Kulai. Now how the layout look like? Serena Jackfruit Village will have cash crop growing in one acre and one acre of jackfruit and another 20%, which is for the housing and, and for their utilities and all that working environment. And they can also run a restaurant business, homestay program, or even a, a place where they can have a market to sell their crops. Now this is empowering the family and when, when I mean of empowering the family, we are talking about families who are in the bottom 40% or even below. I'm talking about bottom of maybe B20 below. That's it. So the woman empowerment, this is focused empowering women first. And the woman will be given uh, sufficient training and to look after the family. Why jackfruit? Now, jackfruit today, at a point of uh, a plant-based meat uh, substitute, which is actually the base fruit needed to make the plant-based meat. Uh, in 2029, 2019, 286 million dollar business was uh, forecast, and they were successful. And we are forecasting more than that, so 3.2. This is all a, a documented uh, numbers. And we are looking at Jackfruit Village to produce a hundred tons to thousand tons per year. And this is the village uh, able to sustain by itself. More details about Jackfruit are found by these companies like Karana and other players, Impossible Burgers and all that. They are using Jackfruit as the plant-based substitute. Now, the other thing we will be also concentrating is health. Uh, we will be concentrating on farming uh, herbs and uh, some of the materials which have been found uh, in uh, NTU research, which clearly documented that soursop, uh, sarawak, uh, taba, snake grass, blue pea, sap, and jackfruit. All this can cure or not cure, at least help reduce the cancer uh, prevention kind of program. 
So this will be also be grown in the Jackfruit Village. For the project forecast or the milestones, we have already been embarked on uh, June 2021 last year. I mean, the project was embarked much, much earlier. But uh, for officially documenting and work and all that, I have uh, put the seeding start as June 2021. That was nine months ago. And today we are in phase two. Uh, December 20, we have collected or raised funds for the first phase of the village. And looking forward to do a transplant and moving forward into their location by early January or end Feb. Uh, because of COVID situations both in both countries, we are delayed by the movement order. So, but the project is moving fine. The partners we have today are people who are having uh, rela related to things for needed for the Jackfruit Village, our uh, smart village. Wi-Fi and internet supported by Facebook has come, come to us and uh, we request Jack Facebook to give us 5,000 internet free account for the smart village. This will be implemented together with this uh, company in uh, India. The hardware solution will be placed by March and we are looking at it, uh, a smart village creation. Uh, food packaging companies, manufacturing companies, food supply chain, solar panel companies, containers. These are all the partners uh, in line to make sure the project is a great success. We have been working with farmers and uh, here we have Ms. Suguna, who is actually a farmer, uh, a housewife turned into a farmer. She's been trained in uh, farming over the last four years and she is fine doing a two hectare land herself and her job. This is a classic way of uplifting social impact, giving social impact upliftment to a family to do this. And this is, this will be the classic example how we can uplift a society, uh, a group of people who needs help. They just need the push and the idea to move forward. And with this presentation, I hope I could clear some of the ideas uh, we have doubts in mind. And do contact me uh, by my phone, my number. You can always reach me at balatam.com. And uh, this is a showcase uh, possible uh, with all your assistance and support. And this is a proof of concept is already proven. And we are moving towards the 100 families social impact project in Sedina. I'd like to thank you and hope to hear from you soon.